Welcome to another Coaster Kev video. Today I'll be talking about Indiana Beach, a hidden jewel in Monticello, Indiana. This beautiful park confronts Lake Schaefer, a dammed up portion of the Tippecanoe River. Once I stepped onto the bridge, I could see Hoosier Hurricane, which just covers the whole entirety of the boardwalk. The sight lines of this park were amazing, but I first went to Lost Coaster Superstition Mountain since I knew it would be a low capacity ride. This amazing roller coaster created by GCI was quite an amazing thrill, but I wasn't able to get on it at first. My elevator lift stopped. I got stuck on the ride, so I had to get evacuated. As they lowered the elevator lift down for me, we were able to get back down and they were able to let us walk the small amount of catwalk to get back to the, the station. I was a little bit defeated not being able to get this ride, which was such a unique ride, but I moved on and enjoyed all the amazing architecture around this park. Seeing the different structural steel beams to hold up these roller coasters way above all the different midway games was quite amazing. This park just sprawled all over the place and was definitely very unique. Got on Steel Hog as my first ride here. It was a really cool ride. I had gone on the El Loco at the Adventure Dome in Las Vegas, so it was very similar, but definitely a cool experience here looking over the water. I was surprised by how many people enjoyed this ride. There was such a long line most of the day that I only got to ride it once, but they were able to get me on pretty quickly as I was a single rider. Steel Hog is definitely a really interesting ride and a lot of fun, so I'd definitely recommend going to it. Additionally, I was able to check out some of the cool rides such as the Falling Star, which I really enjoyed the old Grand Slammer at Knott's Berry Farm, so it gave me some good nostalgia. Another fun ride that I enjoyed was the Log Flume. It was really cool with the fun little sewer tunnel-like things, and just very simple with a nice splashdown. Secondly, I got on Her Hoosier Hurricane, which I thought was quite a fun ride, but definitely pretty rough. After Hoosier Hurricane, I was really excited to get on Cornball Express, which I had heard was quite thrilling, and it did not disappoint. When I got on there, I had an amazing time with all the air time with just the buzz bar, holding, barely holding you in. After getting five or six rides on Cornball Express, I got immediately on Cyclone. It was such an amazing time, but definitely not the most highlighted ride there, but still a lot of fun. The Head choppers were crazy in this one. I was often ducking, but I had a lot of fun. After Cyclone, I thought I was going to be done for the day, but luckily Lost Coaster was open up again, so I went right over there to get some redemption. It was a long line, but I was able to wait it out and finally get my ride. I got a back row ride, which was a lot of fun, and there was nobody next to me, so I went flying from side to side as I went through this crazy course as it just twisted and turned throughout this mountain. I was so elated, so I was able to get my final credit at Indiana Beach and make my way to Holiday World for Holiday Nights. It was such an amazing time there, and I had a great time at Indiana Beach and definitely recommend other enthusiasts to go there, as well as the general public. But with that, this is Coaster Kev, and I'm coasting out. If you have any other questions, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe on this video.